Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. Anitra, what came first? The chicken or the egg? I hope the chicken came first, so I get to keep the egg. This is a snap review for Chicken Chicken. Chicken Chicken is a fast-moving memory game for two to eight players, ages six and up. It was designed by Charles Bossart and is published by GameRite under license from Okaluda Editions. Let's talk about the art in this game. Here's some art. <laughs> the illustrations by Pauline Berdahl are clever and welcoming, and it's really easy to believe that the foxes here only scare off the chickens. They're so cute. All these illustrations strike just the right balance in this memory and pattern recognition game. They're clear, but there are a few you could mistake for each other if you're flipping the cards quickly. So, Andrew, let's tell them how to play the game. Absolutely. So, one person gets to be the head farmer. The head farmer in the group is controlling the deck. They're slowly flipping out cards... You can determine your speed depending on Slowly. your family or, or whomever is playing. From the deck, one at a time, and stacking them in a face-up pile so that the most recent card is the only one that is visible. All the players silently count to themselves how many eggs there are. But, there's a catch. If a hen comes out, the hen sits on the egg and it covers it up and so the number goes down. When a fox shows up, it scares off the most recent hen, bringing an egg back into play. When a player thinks they have exactly <laughs> five eggs in the pile, they slap the pile. Whoever slaps first, they get a colored egg fragment. It's little... But other players can challenge them to get a fragment instead. Then the head farmer does a slow walkthrough of the pile to see what really happened and who's right. Right, and that's why you keep the pile around, because you can replay what has happened since the last slap. The first player who gets three fragments wins. This is simple enough. Ah, but there's a few catches. Uh, just a few. There are all kinds of additional types of cards that you can add and make the game more difficult and exceedingly silly. So let's talk about some of these extra cards. Aspen the dog will stick around and chase off the next fox who appears. But Vanessa the disguised fox looks just enough like a hen to sneak by the dog and chase off a hen. Then there's the worm, Tiger the worm. He distracts the next hen and stops them from sitting on an egg. There's also the farmer who can collect all of the eggs currently in play, resetting the count to zero, but he won't take any eggs that are under a hen. There's also things like ostrich eggs, which count for double, the rooster, and uh, don't forget the ducks. The ducks do absolutely nothing, except you all need to say quack. quack. Right. When you see them. All right. Well, especially for the Family Gamers family, what did we expect from Chicken Chicken? Well, slapping games don't generally go over real well in our family. Even when they're supposed to be silly, there's just a lot of hurt feelings because a small difference in pattern recognition will make a huge difference. Especially with age differences, too, because yeah. that's really what is going to affect that stuff. It can be disheartening to always come in second place or third place because your arms aren't as long, so you have to try a little bit harder. But the tagline for Chicken Chicken told us it was an egg-cellent memory game. So we wondered... <sighs> what makes this one different? So let's talk about what surprised us about this game. All right, well, we had a blast. <laughs> slapping the pile, challenging each other. We tried adding in all different kinds of combinations of the special cards. Usually not all of them at once. Usually. Yeah. Which messes up our memories, and we also tried flipping out at different speeds. You favored flipping really quickly, and everybody was like, ah, uh, I don't know how many there are, I'm just gonna slap So and the try. strategy is that farmers, you flip out really, really fast, somebody slaps, and you just automatically say, no way. No, nope, no, nope. I challenge you, you're <laughs> I wrong. I run that way. <laughs> uh, Two-player games did feel a little bit less interesting, because the competition, it just wasn't as intense. Yeah. Um, we did still have some hurt feelings when the slapping got too enthusiastic. And hurt fingers. <laughs> yes. But most of the time we were laughing because it's so silly. All right. So, Anitra, do we recommend Chicken Chicken from Game Right? Well, it's compact, mm -hmm. it's silly, and it takes less than 20 minutes to play, even at the maximum player count of eight players. There's no reading required, and you may find your kids beat you unless you can play really close attention to the pile. 
I would recommend it for family gatherings, especially with a wide range of ages and lots of players. All right. So, Andrew, what do you think we should rate Chicken Chicken from Game Right? Well, with all of that stuff that you said, I think we're going to have to rate it four eggs out of five. And that's Chicken Chicken in a, in a snap. snap.